Hi, welcome back. And as you can see, it's now welcome back to the shop. It's welcome outside. So this week, um, I had a few things to solve here that I needed to do this little project for, and I'll get into to the issues that I was having and why I've decided that this week's project is going to be a little outdoor chicken coop here. Um, just made out of pressure treated 2x4 framing and half inch plywood sheathing around it. Everything is screwed together so that if I've ever I need to change the sheathing out I can. Uh, the framework itself will stay good for years and years and it is completely independent of the sheathing so it's not an issue to uh, to remove it. So if you recall and watch the channel, uh, back in the spring I had a lot of chicks in my shop and brooders and um, they're getting to be pretty good size now as you can see from these guys coming out the door. But I've got extra roosters. I already have a rooster in the ch current chicken coop and uh, these guys are starting to get big enough now and before they become a nuisance and we have issues uh, I want to relocate them away from the rest of the flock. And so what we're looking at here this is my asparagus patch. I have a hundred asparagus crowns here and as you can see uh, the asparagus is at the end of the season now so the asparagus we've allowed it to fern up which you need to do every year but if you look in past that you'll see that there's a lot of weeds and I'm hopeful that these guys will get rid of those weeds for me. So where we had the rest of them cooped up and the run we have for them, they've done a fantastic job of cleaning that right down uh, to a bare ground actually. And so we have to throw stuff in there for them to, to peck and scratch at. But I'm hoping that these seven guys in the next two to three months before it gets too cold will be able to uh, to clean this back down. Now and they've actually cleared, they've only been here for a couple hours and they've actually, you can see this was all, this was all grown in and they've <laughs> they're eating it quickly so hopefully it'll be a mission accomplished before long so what I'm gonna do is I'll do a follow-up video because for anyone that's into gardening and asparagus and has got a, a patch that's overgrown like this um, yeah, I'm sure you'd be interested to know how it goes lots of people at homestead that have asparagus patches and chickens uh, maybe want to marry them up uh, where I, where I went wrong with this is that these needed to be cut down um, the ferns every winter and then it needed mulch put on it actually need a compost put on it then mulch and I haven't done that and so I'm hoping if these guys can get me back to ground uh, that this fall I can go back and, uh, and change how I do it so that I get it mulched and, uh, and composted so a couple things about the chicken coop so I made a hatch in the back so easy access to get the water and the food changed clean it out from here very easily without having to crawl in there. And you can see on the inside there's a couple of perches in there going across and they have actually figured that out already. It doesn't take them very long to figure things out. Now I've set this on T-posts and it's inside of the electric fence that I use for my garden already. Alright, so what I've done is I pinned the bottom of this down pull me a bracket. So the fence can't be lifted. And that should prevent any ground predators from being able to get in unless they tunnel underneath of it, um, which would take a significant amount of time. Um, I don't expect that they're going to come through the electric fence anyway. I don't think, I for sure know that foxes won't, and I doubt very much that raccoons will. And really weasels, there's not much you can do about them. There's bird netting on the top of this. Going almost the whole way across, we left a little open spot right here just because of the way that things are configured. But uh, we do have an osprey, and the osprey lives right over. And this is for anyone interested, this is the woodworking shop. You can see it's got a bunch of machinery and stuff. We're trying to gear up at my son's here to do a little bit of, a little bit of farming. But right straight over top of my shop in that direction is an osprey nest. And he flies back and forth uh, multiple times a day because right over here is the river. And there's a cove down there and he likes fish back and forth to his nest. <clears throat> so anyway, I thought I'd share this. Uh, I know it's not wood turning. Sorry to disappoint anyone who is... Uh, Looking forward to some wood turning, but uh, this had to be done and it was a couple of day project to get it done and it just didn't leave time to get anything else done. So next week we will look at doing some gouges. Uh, people have asked me to show the bowl gouges that I use and spindle gouges and how I use them and so we'll get into that next week. So we'll see you then.